Hey everybody, it's Sarah Toga, and this is your weekly focus card reading for the week beginning June 8th through June 14th, 2020. So this card says teaching and learning, and my goodness, what could be more perfect for where we are right now? Um, all of us trying to navigate through the recent events and the trauma and the, the racism that's been around for hundreds of years and everything that goes along with that. And I'm gonna be talking more about this, guys, in my Tuesday video because there are some absolutely incredible things happening. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm actually so excited about what is going on right now. But for now, um, related to this reading, let's just, let's just focus on this part of things for today because it's a much bigger picture than what I'm gonna be able to share in this small reading. So it says, Archangel Zadkiel, Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. I wanna talk about more than the card because when I assemble these little um, settings, I don't normally think about it too much and I, I do it very intuitively. So I put these flowers out and I don't normally talk about the flowers, but for some reason I decided to look up the energy properties of these flowers. These are Peruvian lilies. Let me read to you guys what I learned about the energy properties of Peruvian li Lily. Clearing the energy of competition, allowing you to see the other side of the story, and releasing ego-based thoughts. How perfect is that, right? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to talk about the different elements here and then I'll pull it all together for you guys, okay? The card, Archangel Zadkiel, let's talk a little bit about Archangel Zadkiel. Archangel Zadkiel is really known for healing painful memories and emotions, for choosing forgiveness over like competition or anger. Um, he inspires compassion. He inspires unconditional love. He's all about remembering your divine spiritual origin and your mission. So let's put all of this together and then I'm going to read something else to you guys that's truly amazing um, that someone channeled about Archangel Zadkiel, Zadkiel sorry, over 10 years ago. So this, this is teaching and learning. I think what happened when this entire um, series of events unfolded, this horrible, horrible situation, I'm going to avoid using certain negative words in this reading because I want to keep this vibration very, very high. But what happened to this person that was so horrific that initiated all of this trauma? I think what happened in the beginning was a lot of people were, were just trying to force, force a healing, force it to resolve right away. Now, we have to resolve this now. But you're talking about healing something that is ancient, you guys. It takes patience, it takes time, it takes compassion, listening, letting go. Um, it's, it's all about transformation. So teaching and learning, I wanna talk about the teaching element here because you have to be very, very careful with the teaching. You don't wanna be teaching in a controlling way. I've seen people trying to uh, be very controlling, you know, well, you must do it this way, you must see things the way I say, and, or you must follow this certain path, and judging and criticizing people who don't. And that's part of all the, the chaos that, that has gone on around this. Not to mention all the interference, you know, that's a whole other topic, right? And the violence, it's almost like there was this, just this big giant mess that blew up around it. But let me tell you something, guys, that's not the real story. What this reminds me of is when, if you've ever seen what happens after a forest fire, when everything is burned to the ground, and then new life arises from that. These beautiful, new green, new life starts to come out. And I'm telling you, that is what is happening right now. There is something new and fresh and incredible and amazing that is beginning to arise from all of that stuff that everyone's been going through. And that's not to say it's gonna be an overnight healing, but something powerful is going on right now, you guys. It's extremely powerful. I'm sure you can feel it, I think, um, well, I think everybody can feel it if you just tune in to the energy of it. 
So keep an open mind. This, this could be true on so many levels. Learn new ideas, again, on so many levels. Now the card says teach these ideas to others. Here's what I wanna to suggest to you guys about what I was about to say about the word teach. We wanna be very careful with that because to me that this is a very, very sensitive period. People are very traumatized, they're very upset. Um, you don't wanna just go barging in and let me teach you what you need to know, right? That's, that's just not gonna work. So let's talk about a different kind of teaching. Let's talk about teaching with our vibration, our energy, our, our presence, our hearts. Because when you approach someone with compassion, with humility, with love, you're teaching them something. You're teaching them that they're safe to open up to you. You see, so there's a whole different kind of teaching. All teaching doesn't happen just in words. So you wanna keep a balance. You wanna listen with an open mind. Now listening with an open mind, learning with an open mind, that takes humility. So the kind of teaching we're talking about here takes compassion and love, and the learning takes open-mindedness and humility. Because what this is all about, you guys, this is all about massive transformation. And that's what the image on the card says to me. When you see the light just emanating from this archangel, it's like, just speaks to me of transformation, total transformation. This completely connects with the full moon that we just had on Friday, with this eclipse gateway that's opening up. This whole season, this eclipse season, this month of June is totally about transformation. So we are undergoing an incredibly powerful moment right now. Now I placed um, the stone that I have here is orange citron. I absolutely love this stone. Um, I put it here because this stone always makes me feel optimistic and happy and positive. It just, the, I mean, I just hold this stone. Again, I, I always share with you guys that you're free to tune into these stones through the video if you want to. Um, whenever I hold this stone, I just feel immediate happiness. So it's really about being happy about this amazing miracle that is beginning to unfold before us. This, um, we guys, we are coming into a level of oneness on this planet that is going to blow your mind. And I'm gonna tell you guys more about what this actually means um, in, I'm hoping to get this in my Tuesday video. I, I think I will, so I can't tell you yet because I haven't entirely finished working on that, but there is, there is something about this that is not normal in the good sense of the word, you guys, okay? Because our definition of normal is very limited. So when I use the word normal here, I'm referring to normal as it pertains to who we really are as human beings. So you want to be thinking of, um, different levels of what the message of this card is telling us. So it's not only about our human relationships with each other in terms of race and um, humanity and all of those things. It's not just on that level. We also need to keep an open mind at a cosmic level. We need to be willing to let go. Um, we need to let go of our old way of looking at everything because you know what? Think about this, you guys. Our old way of looking at things has never ever yielded the results that we want, right? That's a really simple fact. If you just look at that fact, it will be so much easier to let go. You can just say to yourself, you know what? I've been looking at things the same way. The world's been looking at things the same way for so very long. And we always say we want these great results, but we never get them, not, the, not at the level that we want them. And progress is extremely slow, way too slow. So it kind of stands to reason if you look at it, we need to let go of our old way of looking at everything. That's the first thing we need to do. So we need to be open-minded. Um, back to the Peruvian lily, the flowers. 
the energy properties, clearing the energy of competition. We don't need to be competing with each other, you guys. I'm, I'm sure many of you, maybe most of you listening to this have already figured this out, but I'm gonna say it anyway. We don't need to, competing, to be competing with each other spiritually, um, physically, um, within our own humanity, who's the better human. We don't need to be competing. So we need to clear that energy out because it's very divisive. Um, we need to open up and see you see, expanding your consciousness isn't just about you as a singular individual. Expanding your consciousness also includes increasing your awareness of the bigger picture of our entire humanity, increasing your awareness of the people around you, increasing your awareness of just the people that are in your life in a small way and in a huge, huge, huge way like in your country, in the countries around the world, um, take it as far as you want. Releasing ego-based thoughts, and we're still talking about the flowers right now. Releasing ego-based thoughts, that's about your false identity. That's about the identity that you know you wanna hold on to. This is me, this is who I am, and I, I, don't, I can't let go of it because it's a survival issue for me. Well, you know, that ascension energy is breaking that up anyway, so sometimes at some point you just have to go within and say, you know what, I just gotta surrender. I just have to surrender. I don't need to protect my ego anymore. Um, now, I want to read something to you guys. This is not what I usually do in a card reading, but I felt so inclined to read this to you because it's so perfect. So I'm grabbing this book right now. I have to, I'm going to tell you the book and everything because I, I believe in giving credit to the author at all times. So this is, this is one of Doreen Virtue's books, Archangels 101. And it's under the uh, section on Archangel Zadkiel. Now in this section, she has, there's a woman, Linda Sue Blaylock, that she has printed. Linda Sue channeled something from Archangel Zadkiel. Now, the reason I say this had to be over 10 years ago is because this book was published 10 years ago. I wanna read to you this channeling. It's so beautiful for where we are today. Here's what it says. Let down your guard, not only with yourself, but with others. Now is the time for connections and love. Take notice of all the new souls entering your space now. I love that line, guys. Okay, back to what I was reading. Know that they are coming into your life for a specific reason just as you are coming into theirs. Everyone has something to offer and share with another, including you. The uniqueness of each person is something to be appreciated and valued instead of judged. Look at your differences and celebrate the learning and sharing that can occur between you you will be amazed by the new experiences and help that will be brought into your lives. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing ever? It's so perfect for where we are right now. So guys, the candle with the light, the candle signifies light, radiance, high vibration, optimism, and what this is, I'm gonna complete this with one simple statement. I don't need to define for you guys every single thing that's going on. You guys can tune in, let go of your ego, let go of resistance and just stay in your heart, be in a state of compassion and love and become aware of what is an actual miracle happening in this world at this particular time. Remember that, um, guys, I'm telling you, we are on the verge of something so amazing. I cannot wait to talk more about this. Anyway, um, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So basically, I know this probably didn't sound like it was really pulled together because I don't really feel inclined to pull anything together right now. I really think this is about 
creating the space, giving every one of us the space to wake up even more, to realize that we already are one with each other. We already are. We haven't experienced it because all the stuff that's in the way of that, which is what I'm gonna be talking about more and more and more, and it's not past traumas and it's not, there's something much bigger at work here and we are going to eliminate the problem for good and that's, guys, that's when we're gonna experience a reality that is beyond your wildest imagination. Okay, so I am wishing you all a beautiful day, a beautiful week, sending you all so much love, and I will talk to you next time. Namaste, everyone.